This morning, the volatile housing market. According to new data, the median sales price rose to nearly $380,000 in January, the seventh monthly increase in a row. Mm. Okay, the hottest time of year to buy is just around the corner, the spring market. So what does shoppers and sellers need to know to navigate it? NBC's senior business correspondent, Christine Romans, is here with the answer. Christine, hey Christine. are you expecting a robust spring market? Yeah, I think, you know, it was a deep freeze last year. You had the, the slowest amount of ho home sales last year since 1995. It was a deep freeze. I think you're going to see a thaw. We saw home sales rise in January 3.1%, and that's good news. You're still seeing those prices rise. That's because there's not a lot of inventory, but we're expecting that might shake out a little bit this spring. A couple of things to keep in mind. A well-priced home, those are going fast. Mm -hmm. Overpriced homes are not anymore. And Zillow says one in five sellers are cutting prices right now to move a house. So it could be finally for home buyers. There might be some, there might be some room for you this year. But I also think it's very competitive it among is. home buyers. I feel like if you don't act quickly, the house goes like mm. that. As you know, you've got to be ready. You have to, you know, get your loan uh, pre-approved. Yep. Go to annualcreditreport.com. Make sure your credit is in good shape and you don't have any surprises. Be ready to shop early. You know, don't wait until March or April because everyone who has been sort of frozen out the last couple of years and who wants to move, there's pent up demand for people to move. Maybe they've got kids they want to put in a certain school district. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have to move for a job and they've been sort of frozen out. I think you're going to see people trying to shop out there this year and try to get uh, to get some traction in the housing market. I, I have family members who are trying to hold out for better rates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the rate thing is a real problem. And I don't think you're going to get a better rate until the second half of the year. If you are holding out for three or four percent, you need to you need to move if you need to move for your family. I wouldn't mm. wait for the for the for the rates. And you know, maybe you can refinance next year. You got to do the math because you pay closing mm. costs then twice. If you buy a house now thinking you're going to refinance this fall, you're going to pay a bunch of, of fees. So be careful out there. Don't bet on three to four percent right now. I mean, the mortgage rate is right now at seven yeah. percent. Cody, you've asked me so many times about mortgage rates. You're like, <laughs> okay. where are they going, Christine? Where are they going? Up or down? Up or I down? Know. And yeah. right now they're just stuck. Mm -hmm. they're just stuck Betty. there. So, so don't wait. wait. So I, I mean. Look, a higher mortgage rate, a mortgage rate at 7% is a lot less house to afford than 3 or 4%. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's it, these, <laughs> these rates, uh, I, and I do think that they've been high for long enough that people are starting to make decisions based on their life, not mm -hmm. based on, on the mortgage rate. There's another interesting thing happening with older homeowners, too, and that is they've got... Um, record high stock prices in their mm -hmm. 401ks and their IRAs. Some of them are starting to say, well, wait, I, I have money here. Why am I not moving because of a mortgage rate? They're, you know, they yeah. they have a little bit of a cushion because of their well, stock investments. What if investments. you do want to sell? I mean, what mm -hmm. do sellers need to do to get ready you for You need this? to be well-priced. Use, uh, look, use a broker that really knows your neighborhood so you price mm -hmm. the house right. That's really important here. Yeah. Also, uh, don't bet on the bidding wars of days past. In some neighborhoods, there are, in the tri-state area here, there still are some bidding wars, but, uh, you know, Remember when people would go in, there'd be 400 people who lined up yeah. outside and the house would go for cash, you know, 20% mm -hmm. over. I think those days might be over. That was 2020, 2021. 2022 was a, a deep freeze. 2023, a deep freeze. Now I think you're going to see a thaw and we're going to get to a more normal housing market for the spring selling season. Cool. Okay. Right. Fingers crossed. All right, yes. girl. Have Thank a good you. weekend, Christine. Thanks, Thank you. It. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.